Hi guys, this is Vic with you, with our new channel, Culinary Remix. Me and my brother JR are going to show up in this channel and uh, by the name Culinary Remix, you will understand that uh, this is all about remixing your food. in Not in a weird way, but in a delicious way. So please keep watching our channel, like, share and subscribe with your friends and family. So today we are going to show you how to make donor kebabs which is actually from Turkey and in Turkey they are doing it with minced beef but since we are remixing it so we are not going to use beef we are going to use red deer and uh, it is actually hunted by my brother a few weeks ago and uh, we did a lot of stuff with that and but that donor kebab came came up very nicely delicious the red deer i'm about to cook is from new zealand and they can also be found in canada europe north africa australia and argentina it's a very common breed of a deer the amazing part of that deer is the meat is soft like silk and it does not have any smell or gamey taste like we do have in mutton sometime and the last thing about that that female deer was hunted by my brother JR on 13th of August this month in Texas so there will be a separate video of that hunting which you will enjoy very soon on this channel so let's go and fry the delicious silky red deer Turkish donor kebabs so first thing we need an onion and uh, we have to chop it through the chopper and extract the water of that uh, onion like that we can strain it we can use the strainer to strain the water into the small cup and that water will be added into our marination so let's go to the ingredients we need thyme or oregano one teaspoon black pepper just a pinch salt half teaspoon or as per your taste red pepper powder half tablespoon milk two tablespoons yogurt two tablespoons and that onion water and of course minced deer half kg now I'm going to mix the spices with the meat now I'm going to wrap this meat into the baking paper and uh, in this part you have to be careful that it should be nicely tightened from the both side it should be firm when you're rolling it and after that we have to keep this into the freezer for a day at least for a day so it will get freeze and why we need to freeze it I'll let you know on the next screen boom nice and firm ready to go into the freezer so after freezing a day your meat will look like this this is not actually the same meat what we just kept in the refrigerator I mean the freezer this is the one I made yesterday just to test before uploading the video so you can see this part I have already sliced it in the morning and I have tried it and got approval from everyone and then I decided to upload this video so now we are going to cut the chunks out of it and you have to be very careful with the knife in that part because that meat is frozen and your knife can slip and you can hurt yourself very badly and we don't need that part of that remix <laughs> so just be careful and make the chunks like that that will be fun delicious fun heat the pan put some olive oil spread it evenly now start putting the kebabs the chunks of kebabs and be careful once you are done with the chunks they start melting very quickly so you have to be quick after doing that chunks get ready with your heated pan so it will not get separated so the frying time will be 
three to five minutes on each side you can put a lid on it since it was frozen the water was there and the oil may jump out from the pan so the lid will help and see this is after like four minutes oh yes that side is done so I'm flipping them over so once done you can have them in Turkish bread you can stuff them in tur Turkish bread you can use uh, buns to stuff them I'm using tortillas because I like to have them in tortillas for salad you can use uh, diced tomatoes and onions some lettuce and just to give a taste you can use few drops of uh, lemon if you want it's always optional and try it eat healthy live healthy we'll see you in our next video so stay safe bye bye